So what exactly do you want out of life? It's a pretty simple question, but sometimes very difficult to answer. But it's worth it, right? It's worth it to try and figure that out because the alternative to that would mean that somebody else would have to figure that out for you. I'm really glad that I asked myself that question at a much younger age because that allowed me to really sit down and take the time to really think about what I was truly passionate about and some of that happens to be filmmaking, photography, and YouTube. It wasn't until I started to take full responsibility of all my actions and to fully dictate the path that I was going to take. So in today's video, I wanna share with you guys my personal journey into this whole filmmaking and photography thing and sort of the mindset up that I was able to develop. What I have found to be very helpful is being decisive on my own goals and writing it down. I think it's extremely important to understand the direction that you're taking rather than wandering around aimlessly waiting for opportunity. Personally, I don't like betting on random opportunity or even waiting for it. And I believe that you need to get out there and create them yourself. So once you understand what it is that you want to accomplish, if it's a full-time filmmaker or photographer, Next thing you need to ask yourself is why? Why is it so important to you and why do you want to accomplish this goal? I think it's super important to understand the why because when things get tough, which they 100% will, you can always look back on these reasons and to remind yourself why you started in the first place. To be able to use this as fuel and drive for when things get tough and you're filled with self-doubt. I personally don't believe that motivation alone is necessarily enough to be able to put in the work day in and day out for multiple years. I think you need to be driven, you need to be relentless in your pursuit in achieving your goals even on your worst days when you absolutely feel like crap and you don't wanna do anything. Some of my personal reasons why I started this journey almost five years ago is for one, you know, I wanna take full advantage of this incredible life that I was given. The fact that I am healthy, I am breathing, I have two legs and I can walk that I'm born in San Diego, California is honestly a miracle in and of itself. The fact that I can go out there and pursue and be whatever I want in life is honestly a once in a lifetime opportunity that I never wanna take for granted. I wanna create a life that I won't regret. I wanna realize my full potential as a filmmaker and a photographer, and in that process, help out as many as you guys as I can. I don't wanna end up trapped at a job that I absolutely hate for the rest of my life and just live a unfilled life. Another reason that's personally very important to me is that I want to provide financial security for my family and to someday retire my parents. My parents are some of the most hardest working people in probably the entire world. They've been working seven days a week, 10 plus hour shifts for the past 20 plus years now. And I've never seen them complain once or even want to take a day off. All they think about is being able to support my two brothers and I. And I don't blame them for having this crazy work ethic because I think when they first immigrated from Asia to America, you know, they had nothing, you know, we were, we were super poor. I remember wearing like the exact same clothes every single day at school because we didn't have enough clothes and all the kids would make fun of me. So honestly, it would mean everything to me if I could somehow just relieve them of that financial pressure and someday fully take care of them and have them relax and let them live their life, you know? And I think another reason that really drives me is being able to represent my Asian culture, you know, to show that, you know, us Asian people can be so much more than the stereotypical like doctor or lawyer. We can be just as creative as anyone else. And I'm super proud to be able to represent that, to be up here and to be Asian. These are all very personal reasons why I started this journey, but also why I've probably gone so far to begin with. All right, so now that you've written down what you want to accomplish and the why, which you should be writing it down because it's very important. Make sure to write it down. Next, you need to ask yourself the how. You know, how are you actually gonna accomplish your goal? Realistically, how are you gonna be able to get to that accomplishment? Whether if it's learning online by yourself or going to college or maybe working at that job that you hate so much, but it's gonna be able to fund your ultimate goal. Keep a realistic approach of what works for you and your personal and financial situation. In my personal situation at the time when I was like 17 or 18, I decided to skip out on college. Personally for me, I found that I just work much more better in a non-social environment and when I can actually choose what I specifically want to learn. So going to college didn't really make too much sense for me. I saw so much more potential in learning on the internet and taking full advantage of all the knowledge that I was providing and also the freedom to choose when to learn. 
I first remember when I was like 17 or 18 and I told my family that I wasn't gonna go to college and I was gonna make videos instead. And they thought I was absolutely crazy and so stupid for that. I remember for like the first two or three years of me struggling and making videos, like, you know, there was a ton of doubt. All my family thought I was gonna fail and go nowhere and they thought I was crazy for this. And honestly, I don't blame them for thinking that because you know, how are you gonna tell your parents at the age of 18 that you're gonna just drop out of college and just make videos for the rest of your life. Fortunately, all that doubt quickly disappeared when I was able to prove to them that, you know, YouTube was paying off, that my channel was growing, that people were actually hiring me and taking me out internationally and hiring me for video jobs. I was getting paid, I was working with brands, and most of all, I was doing something that I absolutely loved. And I know in the world of social media, you only see people's highs, you only see their best moments. And sometimes that can make you forget that everybody has lows in their journey as well. But like I said, for the first two or three years when I was making videos, I didn't really even see too much growth. You know, I was making tons of videos and they weren't getting any views at all. And not to mention all of them were really crappy and cringy. But something I told myself is that, you know, I wasn't gonna quit until I made like over 500 videos. A valuable lesson that I learned from Muay Thai and mixed martial arts is that repetition is the key to mastery. If you throw 100,000 left roundhouse kicks, then your left roundhouse kick is probably gonna be insane. And likewise, if you make over 500 or 1,000 videos, then you're probably gonna be really good at making videos. So I knew if I just kept pushing and kept making videos over and over and over again, I knew that someday they wouldn't be so bad and cringy anymore. And the best part about YouTube is, is that like once you have a camera and a computer, it doesn't really cost too much to make a video. You know, it really only takes time and ideas. My final tip for you is to just start now. Don't wait until you have that super expensive camera or that super expensive studio built out for you to begin making videos because if you tell yourself that, you'll probably never start. The best time to start is literally right now with what you have. I first started making videos on a $300 Sony Handycam almost like six years ago back at my parents' house when I used to live there with absolutely no lighting gear or even a microphone. And sure, you know, it wasn't the best quality. It was a really crappy video, but I came up with an idea. I shot it, I edited it, and then I posted it. I learned how to make a video in the process. Even though it sucked, even though I didn't have that much gear, I actually took action and I did it. And when it comes to learning how to make a video or shooting photography, you don't necessarily need expensive gear at all to learn. Let me repeat that, you know, you don't need expensive gear to actually learn. You can actually learn on anything. You can learn on your iPhone, you can learn on a super crappy camera, you can even learn on a disposable film camera. Using limited gear will only make you more creative at the end of the day because it will force you to think outside of the box and solve problems with limited tools. So I don't wanna hear any excuses of you guys saying that you need better gear to start. Realistically, you're only holding yourself back. When I reflect back on all the amazing things that I was able to experience, see, and accomplish, I can't help but feel extremely proud and happy that I made that crazy decision of taking that leap forward into something that I was extremely passionate about. Even though the whole world was telling me that I couldn't do it, even though it wasn't considered the norm in society, even though there wasn't a direct invisible path that I could take and see, I'm really glad that I stuck with my gut feeling and made it happen. If you guys are hesitant in just starting, just do it. You honestly have nothing to lose. Even if it sucks, I promise you guys it will get better by the time like your 10th or 20th video, you will get better at making videos as long as you continuously keep making them. And I wouldn't have been able to make it this far without all of your amazing support, so thank you. If you guys did enjoy this video, do not forget to drop a like. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. By the way, welcome to the new home. I actually recently became a homeowner. I know for the past year or so, I've been filming in so many like different locations, but for the next year or so, you'll probably be seeing a lot of videos filmed in this home. More videos on the way, and I will see you guys in the next one. Light up.